Today is going to be a pretty short one. I am just going to be yapping about my journey to hit 10k every day. <laughs> it has been quite the journey at that. I haven't been able to do the 10k steps every single day. I was trying to kind of tweak around with my schedule at work and then in the morning and trying to come up with a formula that's going to work best. For me to get those 10k steps in every day because i don't have enough time in the morning to do five miles which is basically what the 10k steps is it's almost five miles worth of walking and because i'm go i'm walking the steps i'm not running because i am not a runner i am not a track star <laughs> i cannot do it i have tried to kind of mess around with what I can do during my day to make the most out of it and then get those 10k steps in and I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can try to implement it if you're trying to hit your 10k steps daily as well or if you want to start to do it it's just a few tips and how I've kind of separated it out throughout my day and it could look very different for you obviously and you can also change it around with what time of day you decide to do each fraction of your steps so to start off with i try to get the majority of them on in the morning so i usually try to get up around 8 30 to 9 in the morning because i have to leave my house by 11 40 to go to work so i try to get the majority of my steps in during that morning time so i all together i think get ready by either 9 o'clock or 9 30 to get on the treadmill and what I've been doing lately or trying to do I've been trying to run half a mile and then walk the rest of it but I can usually only do that for one and a half miles and then by the second one I'm already exhausted so when I first get on the treadmill I walk half a mile and then I jog at a five speed the second half of the mile and then afterwards I walk another extra mile if I can and that's a total of about 40 minutes that it takes me to complete that so 30 to 40 minutes in the morning and then after I eat my dinner here at work I take another 20 to 30 minute walk around the neighborhood here which I took some clips of today Guys will see those it was just walking around this little neighborhood in the area I don't go too far and it's been sunny outside it's been nice outside so this is gonna be something that changes obviously once the weather gets cold here so I'm going to have to change that at some point but as of right now I've been able to do that after I eat food which is another great thing to do for digestion purposes I have my hot water before my dinner and then I go on my little walk afterwards and I get those extra steps which usually get me to 7,000 to 8,000 steps so I'm already like almost there and then to end the night depending on when my last patient is here because we close at 9 o'clock usually they'll leave by 8 o'clock 8 30 if I don't have a patient that's going to be here all the way until 9 o'clock so then I take those last 20 to 30 minutes, whatever it may be, walking around in circles in my office because my office is built like a circle so all the different rooms are 
on the outside part of it so i because at this point the sun's already going down it doesn't go all the way down until past nine o'clock now that it's summertime but i still don't feel safe enough in this neighborhood to go walking when the sun's almost completely gone especially by myself so if you implement this into your own life and you go for like a sunset walk or something like that i recommend you going with some, i heard a noise over there i recommend you obviously going with a partner walking partner or your whole family or your roommates whatever it may be that way you guys can kind of make it a group thing and make it a routine part of your day and get those last few steps in and I guarantee you will hit those 10,000 steps because it seems like a lot all in one like walking four to five miles in one go is difficult and then it's overwhelming and then it makes you end up wanting to not do it all together so that is what I've been doing and I've been keeping track of my steps on my phone so I make sure that I'm holding on to it with my hand like freely swinging on my hip because otherwise it doesn't accurately track my steps like if I have it in my pocket of my hoodie or something like that it's not going to track the steps correctly so that's why I've made sure that I have it like in hand that's the best way to do it and it's just on the health app I've showed this to you guys before on one of my other videos and you guys have seen my morning routine as well that's what you guys see me do so if I'm gonna implement something else into my workout routine like if I'm gonna do my Pilates video or if I'm gonna do some weights or some leg workouts I tend to bring that walking time down to only 30 minutes and then do the rest of whatever it is I'm gonna do but I try to make the most out of my morning because that's the most time I have during the day because once I get home I don't want to do anything else and sometimes if I didn't get my whole my steps in here at work like if my last patient didn't leave until nine o'clock I will walk around a little bit around my house like I'll be going back and forth doing things and getting ready for bed and all of that and usually it rounds up I've been able to do that a couple of times there has been uh, uh, some other times where I'm like at 9,700 or something or 9,900 and it's about to be midnight I'm not gonna make the 10k so and then at that point I'm like it is what it is I didn't make it again but tomorrow is a new day and so far I have gone from 167 I was when I had stopped working out and I think so and right now I'm at 160 it's been my lowest weigh-in so far so I'm really happy about it I finally pushed past that plateau plateau that I was at so right now I am currently at 7,000 oh you can't really see it it's trying to track my feet I'm at 7,603 I set my goal to 7,000 on here just because a lot of the times I have not been able to do the 10k and it's discouraging to see how much I had left and then being like wow I didn't make it I was so close but not quite so I set it to 7,000 so then that way the times that I do hit 10k it feels like I over exceeded my goal and I did very very good <laughs> so that's what I've been doing so as I said right now I'm at 7600 so I am going to walk around the building for a little while since I don't have any more patients right now I'm gonna walk around in circles for a little while check on things while I'm here because I still have to do my job so <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that nobody needs anything that there's nothing that I need to be doing and then I'll finish up the day hopefully hitting 10k but as I said don't beat yourself up if you're still trying to get a hang of your schedule because it's not easy as I said to get those steps in but right now I've been feeling very tired with this extra amount of exercise because if you think about it I have usually when I do my treadmill in the morning I have stuck around 3,000 to 5,000 steps so that's double the amount of steps that I was doing on a daily basis that I've started doing now and obviously before as well I was not doing any walking while I was at work I was just sitting at the desk the entire time so 
now that I've implemented this part of my 10K goal to when I'm at work, it's been a, quite a boost in my exercise and I haven't gotten adjusted to it quite yet. And actually me and Brandon have been walking on the weekends too, especially because it's so nice out now. We have had the opportunity to go to the park, we go grab coffee in the morning, go walk around the neighborhood in like by my favorite park or we go down to this river trail or we walk around downtown or something like that just anything where we can get steps like we got into the premium outlet we've gone to the mall and just walked around trying to get those steps in together sometimes if the weather is bad like there's been a few days in early june where the weather hasn't been cooperating and it's still been rainy so we end up getting on the treadmill like he has a treadmill and a what's that called uh the little walking thing with the i don't remember what it's called but he has one of those and i get on that and i do it for like 20 to 30 minutes and we do that together so now we've also started doing that on the weekend which we had not done before and it's been fun so we've had our little walks together and had a good time i haven't been vlogging which is like i'm slacking on my part because there's been a few times where we've just gone to walk downtown and then we stumble ac across a farmer's market and neither of us were prepared <laughs> for having that little outing so i don't even have my camera on me or anything like that but we've been having a good time on the weekend and it's been so lovely outside we've just been trying to make the most out of this weather and trying to be outside as much as possible but yeah i just wanted to share these little tips with you guys and kind of update you on what my fitness journey is looking like right now i'm trying to make that a priority just walking i actually also got myself a new pair of hokas which i have been going back and forth on for months i missed the opportunity of getting the ones that i really wanted like the colorway that i really really wanted because now they haven't restocked any of the sizes they put them on sale all the sizes were gone i can't find them anywhere and some of the places that i have found them i don't know if they're legit or not but anyway i finally decided to go with my second choice that i was looking at and i didn't want to procrastinate anymore because i was like what if they sell out or what if they put them on sale again and all of the sizes are gone and i don't get to get my hands on it again but this time i got them and they're coming in on friday today is wednesday tomorrow is the fourth of july so just wanted to share that with you guys and update you as i said and hopefully you guys find this information useful because i know getting those 10k steps in is a really good thing to add to your routine if you're trying to lose weight and if you don't like running because it's easier to do it this way and then that way it doesn't feel like you're doing everything at once and it just feels like you're having a good time because walking around the neighborhood enjoying the outdoors it doesn't seem like exercise but you're doing your body good and you're helping out with a lot of different things you know it's been something really great for me to start doing i've been enjoying it and i'm hoping that i can keep this routine up for as long as possible while the weather is nice out once the weather starts to get bad then you know i'll have to switch it up i might end up having to do like an hour to an hour and a half in the morning instead of splitting it up while i'm at work and if you guys have any other questions if you want to know anything else let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear from you guys and just encourage each other you know because if you don't have somebody in your life that encourages you to do these things or you don't have a partner that you can go do these things with it's always possible to do it by yourself because as much as i don't love walking by myself it's easier to walk with somebody else i still get it done i still find ways to do it and keep safe at that because as i said before this isn't the best neighborhood for me to be walking in but i stay alert at all times i have my phone on me i have my purse on me and like everything i'm like staying vigilant like looking around and i try not to 
walk by myself past a certain time of day. As I said, if I can't get those steps in outside, I will do it inside somehow. Like I'm gonna be walking around in circles like a crazy person, or I'm just gonna hop on the treadmill at almost 10 p.m. My mom's gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna be like, I need to get my steps in, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do, but you also have to consider all these different things and stay safe, of course. But yeah, that is it for today's vlog, you guys. I just wanted to show you some clips here and there of my nice little walks and then also just chat with you guys and give you some tips as i said encourage each other i'm here for you if you don't have anyone else and if you want any other tips i also feel like i would like some tips as well and i'm trying to do my best with my diet and all of that and my sleep which right now is so out of whack i, I really really need to fix my sleep schedule. I really need to force myself to go to bed earlier because I have not been doing a good job with that. It's really hard to have this much exercise and have a little fuel in your system with sleep and food. I feel like it's been affecting me a little bit. I find myself having like dizzy spells sometimes and I'm trying to really fix that and get my shit together honestly yeah that is it for today's vlog guys i don't know if i already said that before and then i kept talking anyways thank you so so much for watching if you did watch all the way to this point make sure to leave a little running emoji that way i know who stayed all the way to the end of the video and if you did just know that i really really appreciate it and it really really makes my day thank you so so much for being a supporter and being here on my small little channel i Love you so, so much. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you again so much for watching. Bye. I was able to hit my 10K and then some. So there's what I did in total today. 10,208 steps, 98 minutes to do that many steps and then 403 calories yes i love to see it